I want to try a science experiment today, and that is to find out how many watts of output is in a candle flame. Well, there's a few ways to measure it. One way is to capture all the heat into a certain volume of water, and knowing the amount of water and the specific heat of water, you can calculate the power output from the candle flame. However, I don't have an apparatus that can efficiently capture the heat, so I'm going to do it a different way. I'm going to take the weight of the candle before I start the test and then after completing the test. I'll measure the time, I'll measure the start weight and finish weight, then I can figure out how much mass of the candle was lost and then calculate the wattage. Looking it up, I know that paraffin has a combustion energy of 42 megajoules and in grams that'd be 42 kilojoules. So I can use that to calculate the power. Okay, so I'll take the weight of the candle and the piece of glass and it's 35 grams. Unfortunately, my scale does not do fractional grams. So you know, I have to burn as much candle as I can to get a more accurate answer, but you know, I just have to work with what I have here. And I am measuring with the glass because I'm going to burn the candle on this piece of glass because some of the paraffin will melt down and pool down here and I need to capture that and weigh it as well. So I'll take the weight of the candle and the glass starting out and then I'll remeasure both at the conclusion and I'll find the difference in weight. Okay, so I started the test. Candle's been going for a little over a minute now. So I'll let it burn down and then measure the weight after completion. Okay, I stopped the test. I stopped it just short of letting it go all the way down because the flame would start to shrink if I let it go down and it would throw the test off. So that's the reason for doing that. I placed the candle in a position where air currents wouldn't disturb it. So it had a pretty nice steady flame. So let's put this on the scale. We're down to 27 grams. Started at 35. That means we lost 8 grams of paraffin. The test ran for 1 hour and 20 minutes, which is equal to 80 minutes. 80 minutes times 60. Let's see, 6 times 8 is 48. Um, 4,800 seconds. So I have those numbers to do my calculation. Okay, let's do the math now. So if paraffin has the combustion energy of 42 kilojoules per gram, punch that in there, 42,000, and we used 8 grams, we'll have to multiply that by 8. So that's the total joules that we used. Of course, a joule is 1 watt per second, so we need to divide that by... 4,800 seconds, and we get 70 watts. And that's about in the neighborhood that I heard that a typical candle flame would put out. Now bear in mind that since my scale doesn't do tenths of a gram, you know, there can be some error to this because I don't know exactly. It could have started at 35.5 grams and finished at 27 point something like 720.8. You know, there's a margin of error in this test, so that could vary a little bit. But, yeah, I'm pretty happy with the results. That's still in the neighborhood of what I heard a candle flame actually puts out in watts. So I thought that was an interesting experiment, and thanks for watching.